Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch and interact. Uh, your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we're in lesson 25, uh, form to work, and the topic is crop production 5, and the subtopic is crop uh, rotation. On to the lesson objective, uh, by the end of this lesson, uh, you should be able to define uh, the term crop rotation. And what is crop rotation? Uh, crop rotation is refers to the growing of different types of uh, uh, crops or crops of different families in a, uh, in a given sequence in a particular piece of land. As you can see, it is well illustrated here uh, by this um, chart here. We have maize. Uh, then we have soya beans and then you have uh, cabbage or you can go in this uh, sequence uh, soya beans uh, the protein number one uh, for instance uh, in year 2021 uh, 20, uh, the soya beans was planted in this section uh, then in 2022 then uh, the soya beans was uh, shift, uh, shifted to uh, where the maize was previously uh, planted uh, then uh, in the same 2022 the maize uh, shifted to where beans was previously planted and finally beans shifted to where cabbage was previously planted and that is what we refer to as a crop rotation and therefore the second uh, um, the second uh, objective of today's lesson uh, you are supposed to explain the various methods uh, importances I mean uh, of carrying out a crop rotation program and those are the two uh, objectives that you're supposed to uh, to have at the end of this lesson and on to the first uh, importance uh, of uh, crop uh, rotation uh, the first one is to make use of the available uh, nutrients in the soil or maximum utilization of nutrients in the soil uh, remember uh, in the previous uh, diagram in the previous diagram in the previous diagram uh, there is a, a, a sequence uh, whereby we have the maize, we have the soya beans, we have uh, uh, beans and we have uh, cabbage. And you can see that uh, the, uh, the soya beans and uh, the beans in general, they are leguminous crop and therefore they normally fixes uh, nutrients into the uh, soil through the process of nitrogen fixation. And therefore, uh, by coming up with a rotational program, it makes sure that uh, different types of crop are utilizing the uh, nutrients which are available in the soil maximally uh, then the second importance of crop uh, rotation it is to control soil borne pest and diseases uh, remember a pest what is a pest a pest is a living organism that destroys the crops while in the field or during storage on therefore we can have two classification of pest as field pest uh, those are the ones which destroy the crops while in the field before harvesting and uh, the second category is uh, the storage pest and these are the ones which destroy the crops uh, after harvesting and after storage of the crops in the uh, store and then the third importance of crop rotation is to control weed uh, for instance, there is a very famous weed which is very famous with a maize plant and this weed is very very dangerous and therefore it leads to a very big decrease in maize production. If it comes in a particular field, it will uh, uh, make sure that the, 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 the maize plant is greatly affected and therefore lowering the yield. And therefore, uh, striga weed uh, is an example of that weed and that weed is only controlled through uh, crop rotation. And the fourth importance of uh, crop rotation is to improve uh, it is for improvement of the soil fertility remember I had said that uh, in the rotational program you have to incorporate uh, a leguminous plant so that uh, they can add the soil to, uh, the, the nutrients to the soil uh, through the process of nitrogen uh, fixation 
on to uh, uh, the number five the fifth one is to improve the soil structure and therefore in the, uh, in uh, whenever you are carrying out uh, the rotational program you must incorporate uh, a cover crop uh, in the program uh, so that it can cover the soil and therefore it reduces the speed of surface runoff that is the water which flows after it rains there is that water which flows on the earth surface that is what we refer to as surface runoff and therefore uh, that uh, plant with good ground cover it will reduce the speed of the surface runoff and therefore reducing uh, the soil uh, the soil erosion and also uh, the in the program rotational program you must include uh, um, uh, um, a, a, a certain uh, grass uh, that we refer to as uh, the, the, the grass for one year you make sure that you grow a, la a grass so that it can the soil uh, can uh, can can um, regain fertility or can the land may be left furrow so that the soil uh, a structure can be improved and therefore uh, that is also another importance of a uh, why a uh, rotational program is very very important uh, we have come uh, to the end of today's lesson and i will mark this end of this lesson by giving you assignment uh, the question number one you're supposed to explain any four importance of crop rotation you're supposed to explain the various uh, importance of or why should we carry out a rotational uh, program in our farm uh, for reference you can refer from klb secondary agriculture student a uh, book two and the publisher is the kenya literature bureau for more information you can reach us through the following contacts that is uh, sms uh, you can also use the uh, YouTube and finally you can uh, you, you can also use Elimu TV at Facebook and also Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you for watching us uh, in this les today's lesson. Uh, please keep tuned uh, to at Elimu TV uh, for more information.